Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see in the title down below, I'm going to do a little bit of a catch up, revisiting this whole, you know, eating healthy and but this time I'm going to focus it on um, weight loss and this was fundamentally what happened when I switched how I eat and basically yeah I've learned a lot in over the years that I have you know started eating right and losing all the weight and I wanted to share that with you because I know a lot of people are on their weight loss journey right now probably. it is what it is we all on that journey at some point in our lives and I kind of felt like it would be a very poignant video to do especially for somebody who might need a little bit of assistance or somebody who might be in a very similar position right now to me as right now so, so if you guys would like to see this video as you can see in the title down below I haven't figured out how many points I have in terms of what I have learned ever since losing weight however I'll put it down below I'll put it in the title so basically this video is what I have learned since losing weight now if you want to see what I'm gonna say because <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot if you want to see what I'm gonna say then definitely do keep watching so the first thing I want to talk about is food food is one of the biggest things that are you know part of your weight loss journey i mean you can incorporate your weight loss journey with a certain particular diet or lifestyle of living like your ketos and your intermittent fasting and and or but also at the same time food is the biggest contributor as to you gaining or losing weight duh that's a fact right duh so um uh, you learn about food i have never done as much research about food as I was when I started the healthy living journey and losing weight. It is crazy. You learn to know what kinds of food don't go well for you. You learn to know what kinds of food are good for accelerating the weight loss process. You learn to know what kind of foods you should stay away from. You learn so much about food. I mean, one of the biggest things that I learned is that um, berries, I never used to like fruits, but I realized that berries are one of the biggest uh, assisters or, you know, biggest helping factors if you are looking to losing weight. Like you learn even the dumbest things, but things that when you're not losing weight, you really just don't pay attention to. So food has to become your friend, especially when you are in the weight loss process and when you are done and you're just sort of maintaining your weight, food has to become your friend. I realized that I had a very, very unhealthy relationship with food before I started my weight loss process and uh, my eating healthy and living healthy lifestyle I had a terrible relationship with food and because of that it made it very very hard when I was starting out because all the nice foods that I wanted I couldn't eat damn it you know all the nice foods that I wanted the junk food the sweets the I mean guys I used to go through a pack a pack of Astros in a day I used to go through a pack of Astros in a day and that is crazy. Like if you ask me, that is insane. Right now, I barely eat any sweets anymore, but it's because your lifestyle sort of changes. Um, and making food your friend also basically means that you have to make it a lifestyle. You can't be doing it for the wrong reasons. Oh, I'm doing it just because I want to lose weight, so I'll learn more about food and eating the right foods. Eventually, you will relapse if that's why you're doing it. But if you learn about food because this is a lifestyle that you want to have for the rest of your life, this is you want to change how you eat, then this is going to be the best thing for you. Food. Food has to become your friend. So yeah, that's one of the biggest things that I learned in the weight loss process. Huge, huge. And the obvious one, okay? Losing weight will boost your self-confidence. That is a whole entire fact. I'm not even going to lie to you. Listen, I felt like, Bona, Kuri, 
you know when you when you feel like you're some sort of model strutting down the street because you just feel so good and no one can take that away from you this is the nice thing is that even if people can say that oh she's only lost 10 kilograms or 5 kilograms it's really not that big of a deal but to you it is it boosts your self confidence to another completely different level and it is so nice to not only boost your self-confidence, lose all that weight, but at the same time walk into a store and find clothes that fit and see that they fit differently on you now. Things aren't tight, things aren't whatever. And then when you compare them to the clothes that you already have in your wardrobe and you realize that, oh my God, I need to change what I wear though because I've just lost all this weight, oh my God. It really, really, really boosts your self-confidence. This, however, however, there's a little catch here. This, however, has no bearing on the mental part of how losing weight affects you. Um, losing weight, this is my next point. So losing weight is a mental game. It becomes a really, really big mental game. Your brain your mind must go in tune with what is going on with your body. If you do not mentally prepare your mind for what you're about to do when you lose the weight loss, it will completely F you up. And this for me has been the biggest struggle. I still struggle with this a lot because, you know, there's going to be those emotional triggers. There's going to be things that happen or things that people say or whatever that will always constantly bring back that whole thing that you know what yeah maybe maybe i haven't quite achieved what i wanted to and it is it's sad it's really really sad it's a tearjerker and i'm trying to get through this without getting all emo okay i'm not someone who gets all emo on camera i did it once i'm never gonna do it again so basically what I mean by this is that um, uh, mentally, if you are not prepared for what is going to happen to your body, it will mess you up even after you've lost the weight. For me, it is messing me up even now. And an example of that is, yes, I see it on the scale. I have lost weight. I've lost 25 kilograms. That is a feat, okay? But at the end of the day, when I look at myself in the mirror sometimes, I don't see much of a difference. I don't see a difference at all. I still feel like, ooh, -wee, I am still that guinea, I'm still that fatty, and like, it just, on the scale, it reflects one thing, but internally, in my heart, in my mind, I still feel like I am carrying all of that which I had before I even started this process. And... I feel like that's one of the hardest things to deal with, especially when you are, when you have lost the weight and you realize it afterwards that, wow, so I may have lost all this weight. I may have had my boost, my confidence boost. I may have had my confidence boost, but I still feel internally like I've done nothing. And I feel that way. I'm going to be straightforward and honest. But the thing is, I still hide my body uh, behind my clothes. So as much as I've had to change the, my clothes, I've had to gradually change my clothes and buy smaller sizes. Yes, I get that. But I still hide my body. So I don't buy things that will overly accentuate my curves. I'll still buy, it's a smaller size, but it'll be a t-shirt that'll cover my bum. Or it'll be a dress that'll be slightly on the baggier side as opposed to a dress that'll hold my figure very nicely. It happens. It's like a complete mental game that consistently makes you paranoid. You think about it all the time. And that's where I feel like you have to be strong mentally. You have to be strong emotionally for this weight loss game, you know, and to this weight maintaining game. Because for me, I've lost the weight, but I'm maintaining now. And it is still extremely, extremely difficult. Let me try not to touch on that one too much, okay? But that's pretty much that. The next point is exercise is a real thing. So what comes with weight loss, I ain't even gonna lie to you. When I lost the weight, I was a flobby, crazy. Flobby in areas that I am very, very insecure about. I'm very, very insecure about my arms. I feel like my arms are flobby bobbies, 
<laughs> Tell me if you know who Flobby Bobby is. I feel like my arms are Flobby Bobbies. I feel like um, my thighs are just, I felt, I don't, I, I don't quite feel it much anymore, but I felt like my thighs, you know, they're still fatty thighs, you know, the cellulite doesn't go away. You can lose the weight, but the cellulite doesn't go away. The only time the cellulite goes away is if you exercise. So exercise becomes a very, I didn't think, I just thought that, you know what, I'm going to lose the weight and it's fine and I'll eat healthy for the rest of my life. The one big reason as to why I started going to the gym is purely that exercise because I needed to tone my body. I needed to bring my body back because one of the most common things in weight loss and all of that is body dysmorphia. So, you know, you wake up and you think that, okay, I've lost all this weight. I'm going to look at myself in the mirror and I'm going to see Naomi Campbell. Damn it. You know, I'm going to see somebody really pretty and, you know, my legs are just going to do the most and the cellulite is going to disappear and my body's going to... You think that. But then you look in the mirror and you realize, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sis, get your life together. Because now things are changing, things have changed, and but now you've got excess skin. Look, dependent on how much weight you have lost, obviously people who lose more weight, people who lose 100 kilograms, people who lose whatever, people who lose more weight are going to have more excess skin than somebody who loses 50 kilograms or what have you. But you realize that there is that change in your body because everything just freaking changes and you just don't understand and you don't always like what you see so for me exercise was one of those things that okay i need to tone my body i need to make sure that my body looks better than what it does now and to be honest exercise does change things man the cellulite on my legs is disappearing like this it's disappearing it looks wonderful and it's only because i am exercising so exercise is going to be a very important component of um uh, main, maintaining the weight loss but also just boosting your confidence in how you look because post weight loss basically post weight loss um, uh, the next thing is um people people are going to instantly change towards you once you've lost the weight i can't even talk because this one is a very very tricky one for me people are going to instantly change towards you once you've lost the weight they're gonna change in a good way or they're gonna change in a bad way but before i get to that conversations are pretty much going to be about you and your body once you lose the weight especially from people who haven't seen you in a long time the first thing that they're going to want to discuss with you is oh my god you look so good what have you done blah 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 and i get it i get it i get with women especially with women that you know we're gonna want to share our secrets we're gonna want to share that you know you look so good what have you been doing blah 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 but at the end of the day i don't want to constantly be talking about my body because at the end of the day it reminds me of where I come from and it reminds me of where I'm going and it reminds me whether I'm still happy about it or not. It's emotional triggers. Everything about my body post, pre and now, weight loss and all that jazz, reminds me of all the insecurities that I've had about my body. So when someone comes to me and says, oh my God, your body, yada, 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 I don't, I don't really always want to talk about it because I am still working on the mental part of the weight loss and the healthy lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. That was easy enough to do over the span of two and something years or whatever, but it's hard now because I'm dealing with the mental aspect of it. Okay, so when I say people can say good or bad things, <laughs> me, I'm a ducky, I'm black, ne? So, firstly, before you lose the weight, people will never stop commenting about your weight. Whether it's the looks that you get from family members or friends or the people that you just know, but you can tell that they're looking at you differently because of your size. Your family members can even be brazen enough to tell you, why king? Why They make it seem like it's a bad thing, right? But then uh, drop that weight. 
your family members are pretty much the last people. Okay, some family members. I've been fortunate enough, my family members, you know, they, they were there with the compliments and whatever because they've been supporting the journey the whole way. But your family members will be those people who will be like, Did you hear that? Nothing. Crickets. It's very rare that you will get that compliment that, wow, you have worked so well. Wow, you've done so well with your body. Wow, you've done whatever. It is very rare. So don't expect it. Don't expect it because more than anything, people will say good things and they'll say bad things as well. And you're just going to have to just deal. You're just going to have to just deal and whether it hurts, it doesn't, whether it boosts your confidence, you're just going to have to just deal. You take it as, as it comes, I guess. You take it as it comes. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think of the last thing that I can say, you know, was a big part of um, what I learned after losing so much weight. But I feel like the biggest one is that it's going to be a constant battle between your mind and your body, your mind and your body, your mind and your body. It is very much a mental game. It is very, very much a mental game and you need to be prepared for it. So if you are somebody who is thinking of losing weight or you're in the weight loss process, please kindly work on yourself as well. Work on your mental because there are many, many things that are going to change. There's going to be conversations about your weight, surrounding your weight, surrounding your weight loss, or what, or even when you gain even a smidgen, there are going to be conversations about it. So it's tricky. It's a tricky one. But these are the things that I have learned that no one taught me or told me about. I have learned them post weight loss. And um, yeah, I would really, really love to do more of these videos with regards to weight loss or with regards to healthy eating. But they're very, very tricky because I need some sort of um, assistance as to what directly you would like to see with regards to videos like this but that's pretty much my story i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this video was helpful to anyone uh, and if this is the first time you're on my channel welcome hi how are you please consider subscribing please consider joining the family uh, and also make sure that you click the notification bell because that really helps me out a lot because i've heard people say that they don't see my videos when they drop so yeah that's pretty much it from me i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you guys in the next one Bye.